Hello guys and welcome to again another quickie look by yours truly Stefura. Today we are going to take a look at Kia Resonance from Absorb Reality. Uh, the game is about samurais. You're a samurai and you die from one hit of another samurai's katana, weapon, sword, thing. And uh, well, let's take a look here. Well. Well, first, I want to say that the options menu is quite lacking. You can turn the full screen on or off, and sound effects on or off, or music on or off. You can at all control the level of the sounds, which is annoying to me. But apart from that, I don't guess this game really needs that many settings. But still, let's go to the tutorial. There's also online mode and computer. Whereas it's a computer mode, so you can even challenge online players, but as this game is not out yet, as I record this, I doubt there's going to be anyone to actually play against. So we're going to go to the tutorial and see, and we'll see how the game actually works. Moving around, press and hold the z Oh, <coughs> moving around, press and hold the zero, three key to walk left or right. Very good. Double press and hold the C key to run. Double press the Z key to dodge backwards. Positions. You can change positions by pressing the K U R H key. These, yeah, these controls are kind of weird. You have three positions. Once in forward position, press the space button to perform a soul strike. Yeah, these are really weird controls, at least on the keyboard. I don't know if this is a control support game, I forgot to check that. Yeah, alright. Press the U key to trigger up position. There we go. Press the U key to trigger the up position. Alright, so this is a charged attack. Ah! And he did. Press the H key to trigger the back position. Just before the enemy hits to perform a counter attack. Oh, I killed him. Oh, I actually defeated the bastard. Huh. And that was a tutorial. And as you can see, by based on that. The art style of the game is quite pleasing to the eye. It's the old Japanese uh, art. Yeah, Japan, all the old Japanese art. With uh, You have seen those in hotel room paintings. They're usually there if they have them. And everywhere. You, usually, um, see, you see them everywhere. They're the old ones. And I just like that art style. It fits here. And it's not really taxing to the computer at all, so even your weak machines can probably play this game. And it's while looking still nice. Well, it looks like a painting, but yeah, it doesn't really need to be high def 3D graphics in this one. But let's just try and to see the one player mode. Ooh, we can change our appearance to from two people, and that's. Well, you have at least a choice, and we have an area. Let's do the water one, and then you have a rush mode on or off. Let's just start the game and actually try and fuck, fucking win. Ooh. Yeah, so yeah, this is where the tactical shit comes into play. <laughs> oh god. Oh, and yeah, see, this is this is the game in a nutshell. Wait, in online, I can bet that this is gonna be. Oh god! Oh god, go away! No! I can't even remember the buttons. Those are the movements, and. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, you really need to be a good player if you. Want to have any enjoyment out of the game. And I die again. <laughs> ah. So, 
The tutorial guy was way more easier. Why don't you just die? Yes! I just smashed buttons and I win. Haha. <laughs> I bet people who like fighting games. This is a very minimal minimalistic fighting game, but but it it has those mind game elements that fighting games competitive fighting games at least have where you trying to outwit your opponent and because this game is just one hit one kill and that takes you to the extreme you're going to just jump around and toy with your opponent and then when the opponent does not expect it you're going to strike in and just slice him dead and the computer at least brings a good challenge because I only won one time against the five victories the computer got so good job computer all right thanks thank you beep boop but anyway that is very interesting to say the least fighting that reminds me of one I don't know why it reminds me of one finger death punch but that might fit that category of in players who are interested also the menu is a little bit annoying because you have to use the key keys to operate it you can't use the mouse which is always weird for a PC game because you can't use a mouse that is annoying and stupid but let's have a look at the chat well, let's see is there anyone guess no ranking choose a name honorable horrible samurai Join session. Let's see if there are any. Waiting for further information. No rooms found. Not not surprising. Alright, let's go and take a look at the challenges. When the game launches, uh, there might be or might not be people who play the game. Alright, so we have speed challenges, strength challenges, mind challenges. Baka challenge. <laughs> Just because uh, that sounds funny, I want to try that. Find how to make the windmill turn. Oh, so we are... My opponent for today is a windmill. How do I make the windmill turn? How about yelling at it? Why you no turn? Turn, you honorable windmill. Succumb into my voice. Oh, this is just a counter move, so we can't do anything about that. Oh, maybe if we run past it. Yeah, that makes sense. Nope. <laughs> we don't run past it. Nope. <laughs> Alright. How does one man make windmill turn? Uh, my family is pride is on the stake. I must make you turn. Flap in the wind. Alright, what gameplay mechanics we've learned? So, running past it won't do anything. Striking at it won't do anything. Striking near it or behind it or anywhere near it won't do anything. How about in this position? Ah! Ah! Nope. Ah! Run past it. Nope. Alright. Alright, and the final one. Nope. Huh. Yeah, indeed. We are very baka. We can't figure out how to f turn that shit out. This is a challenge of the mind, at least. Well, at least this doesn't require you to uh, use the weird controls that the game has. You can get used to them. 
you put your left hand on the Z and C keys and right hand on the H, U and K keys, but that's still a little weird. A weird position to hold. Yo. Yeah, it is a little weird, but you can get used to it if you play it. But, huh. I cannot figure out how to make a windmill turn. You must... Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you can't do a seppuku in this one, in this game. I must seppuku. Blah, I will see you next time. I recommend the game for brave warriors. But I am not brave enough to stand the might of the windmill. Oh, oh no! I must give up challenge. Seppuku! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>